Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to show you how to calculate standard deviation. This, which we call sigma, sigma, is the symbol for standard deviation. This is a very important uh, quantity in science and maths generally, as we need to very often work out how much our results are accurate, whether they're close to the result we want or whether they're further away. But the first thing we have to do is work out what we call an arithmetic mean. And the arithmetic mean, x bar, is x1 plus x2. Now, these x's are the different, different things we've measured. All right, if I now do a series of readings in an experiment and I get a series of readings that look like 6.1, then 5.9, then 6.0, then 5.8, then 6.2, and then 6.0 again. Each of these readings is slightly different, but I know that I can use this formula to get the arithmetic mean just by adding all these together and dividing by 6, because there are 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 readings, and I divide by 6. So, in, in fact, the average of these, the mean of these, is 6. Now, in this formula, I need to use my reading and take from it the arithmetic mean. So, here it will be 6.1 minus 6.0, which is 0 0.1. Now, here, 5.9 is lower, so it's actually... 5.9 minus 6.0, which is minus 0 0.1. It doesn't matter, as you will see. And so on. I can go down and do the other values. These values can be inserted. And as you see here, I've got x minus x bar squared. By squaring it, what I'm getting is something which removes the negative sign. So I'm going to get the positive sign all the time. Then I divide by the number of objects and finally I square root the result which is a positive number and gives me a number and the number is going to be around uh, 0 0.15. 0 0.15 is going to be the nominal deviation at the end of this process. So the reason for doing this is that I can say that whatever my result, if I've got a result around 6, it's good to within 0 0.15.